Can you feel it in the air? <laughs> Spring cleaning season is here. All right. <laughs> well, we have the dirt on mm -hmm. some of the more popular tools and appliances people use, and they need tidying too, something we didn't know was a thing. Mm -hmm. Chelsea Edwards is live to explain. Chelsea. Yes, yeah, so we did the dishwasher, we did the washing machine, and Marzati is now going to show us how to do the garbage disposal, which you may know needs cleaning, but you may not know how to do it properly. So Detail Cleaning Services has given us the whole rundown. Okay, where do we start here? Because this thing can get a little stinky. Yes, well, first <laughs> of all, you should definitely clean it at least once a week. You know, it could go two weeks, but I highly recommend you do it once a week. Okay. Now, safety first, right? So the first thing you want to do is check and make sure that there's nothing in there, like a bottle cap stuck in there before you turn on the garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. Oh, now, nice. um, one thing you want to do is turn on hot water or cold and put some dish soap in there. You can skip this step if you maintain your, your garbage disposal clean, but if not, you should definitely do it. Okay. Then you're going to turn it on. And turn it on for about a minute. Right, and after you do that, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna throw in some uh, lemon, slices of lemon, and that's gonna give it a very fresh, citrus smell, which okay. is what you want, right? You don't want that funky, smelly thing. Because mm -hmm, we're like cleaning off our plates in here yeah, all Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you're gonna push the ice down, and then you're gonna turn on your water disposal for at least a minute. You're gonna turn it on. And I like how you're using the tool instead yeah. of using your hand to get that ice yeah, down don't there. Don't use your hand. Do okay. not use your hand. And then the last step is a step that a lot of people don't do, and you should definitely do it, is clean the rubber gasket in here. Okay. You want to do that because there's a lot of slimy, disgusting stuff stuck under the flaps. Mm. So you want to make sure you, you, you clean this. Now, if you haven't cleaned in a while, you probably need to use a toothbrush to okay. really get in there and deep clean it very well. All right, so, Emma, we got to go, but really quickly, I just yes. want to mention, because you guys serve houses all over our area, and yes. you see some things that people never clean, yes. what are some things they need to think okay, about? Okay, so one is the top of the refrigerator. This is often missed and forgotten just because it's not at eye level, mm -hmm. so that's one. Baseboards, mm -hmm. ceiling fans, light fixtures, and the last one is the bed baseboards. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys got to go to fox26houston.com for that full list yeah. and plus the tips on all the things we've been cleaning all morning. All right, I'm done. Sending it back to you, <laughs> Chelsea Edwards, Fox 26 News.